Hello, hi, I'm Dr. Malvin. I'm a psychiatrist from the Mental yeah. Health Unit. Uh, how do I address you, sir? My name is Mr. Ho. Oh, Mr. Ho, I understand that your GP actually referred you over yeah. today because you had some concerns. Perhaps you could make use of the next few minutes to have a chat about this. Would that be alright with you? Okay. Uh, Mr. Ho, can I just understand a bit more because I understand that recently um, that there was something serious that happened? Yeah. Um, a few weeks ago, um, you know, I was driving my car on a Sunday morning in the uh, AYE Highway. Right. So what happened on that day was uh, I was driving on in the second lane, not the fast, fast, the fast lane. I usually avoid the fast lane because I find it very dangerous. But on that day, I think there was some construction going on on the fast lane, and they blocked off the lane. And then I was in the second lane, and then there was the first car start stopping. I tried to stop my car. I managed to stop my car. But unfortunately, the car behind me, it could not stop and it actually hit my car from behind. Right, but Mr. Ho, I'm so sorry to hear about this and, and I, I guess it must be a very distressing yes, experience yes. for you. Can you tell me a bit more about what happened there after? Did you sustain any injuries? So, um, it was a big impact uh, and uh, I was alone in the car, but after that, I was quite blurred, I could not, could not remember what was going on and uh, I think that actually uh, the ambulance came but I was not uh, like fully conscious at that time so when I woke up I was in the the uh, the A&E, the, uh, the emergency department I'm really sorry to hear about this Mr Ho but, but you know, you, uh, it seems to me that you, you were unconscious you know, for a short period of time Properly, and, yeah. and you were transferred over to the emergency mm -hmm. and what did the doctors do for you in the emergency room? I think they actually um, did some scan on my brain and uh, they examined me. Um, um, then they, they said I, I do not need to stay in the hospital if things look fine. So I think I was discharged maybe after I was like alert. I probably stayed there for a few hours, then they actually say I don't need to be at the hospital, they actually uh, send me home. Right, I'm really glad to hear that mm. you did sustain major injuries that you could actually go back on the day itself. Yeah. And how has things been since the time you know you had the accident until today? Well, I, I actually cannot sleep well at night. Right, uh, Mr. Ho, you mind telling me about a little bit more about your sleeping difficulties? Well, um, I usually sleep 8 hours. Now, I only sleep 3 hours. I wake up in the middle of the night. Right. Is there any reasons why? For example, some people mm. when uh, they have you know undergo some serious uh, events in their life, they tend to have some flashbacks of those events or they do have nightmares of those events. Yeah. Yeah, I, I have nightmare. Um, uh, after the accident, I also very like similar accident. You know, I was sitting in the car. I could go to some place I never go before. Um, I actually have nightmare of having this event, uh, and I'm very concerned that in the, my dream or nightmare, there are actually other people sitting in the car. You know, this time lucky no one sitting at the back, right. and if the, if someone sitting in the car, it, it will be a disaster. You see that you know, this is really a very clearly a distressing period for you, mm. such that your sleep is affected very yeah. much. So, on average, how many hours of sleep can you manage a night? Now it's three hours only. Yeah. Right. And, and how do you feel in terms of your energy level? I feel, feel tired in the daytime. Okay. Mm. Right. And Mr. Ho, is this affecting your mood to any extent? Yeah, definitely. Um, I my mood is no good. Uh, I feel even even very angry very easily. Mm. Is there any reasons why you feel so angry recently? Um, after the accident, like even my family, my wife, yeah, if she says something I don't like, I can be very, I can be very angry. So I don't know why, but this only occurred after the accident. Have your family members commented that recently, uh, you, you know, uh, they 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 seem to find you to be a little bit more easily uh, being aroused, you know, uh, being mm. started very easily? Uh, yeah, I mean they say that I'm always like very on the edge all the time, very nervous. Yeah, they do say that. Yeah. Can you tell me a bit more about that? Um, well, I mean, the, I cannot sit still nowadays. I you, I'm more, I think pacing up and down, and I sweat a lot, and uh, I also feel that my heart beat very fast. Um, sometimes my wife saw me actually say, "Why are you actually beating so loud?" And uh, it seems that yeah, I, I become very anxious. Okay, and Mr. Ho, is this the first time that such a you know this anxiety thing happened for you? Yeah, in the past I was like a very calm, very stable. But after this accident, although uh, luckily, thank God, I did not need to admit to the hospital. But I'm actually very agitated after this. Um, um, I don't know why. 
So I knew that you're going through a very distressing time, and thanks for sharing with me. Mm -hmm. Let me just check with you, Mr. Lee. You mentioned that your mood has not been so good, and you know your sleep has been affected as well. You, at times, you'll be a bit more irritable, and you had some flashbacks of the accident itself. I'm just wondering, how have you been coping in terms of uh, uh, you know, getting to places? Do, do you still drive? Oh, uh, no. Um, I use MRT. Actually, my car was actually serious damage, and then, uh, you know, car in Singapore is very expensive. Uh, I don't have uh, money to buy a new car. So actually, I'm actually using uh, like uh, MRT at this moment. Okay. So, I mean, have you actually, uh, uh, you know, uh, tried driving again? Uh, no. Uh, I'm actually, I, first, I don't have a car to drive, and okay. I feel I'm scared to just go, go back to the driver's seat. So, I use MRT at this moment. What about taking things like public transport, like a taxi? Taxi. I try to avoid that because I also worry. You know, on that day, the car, I think there were a few cars actually hit together and I think the taxi was involved, so I tried to avoid taxi. So I, I feel now it's safest, it's just, now actually with the circle line, all this MLT, it's quite convenient, I try to avoid car. Mr. Wong, I'm just wondering, because you mentioned that you were driving on AYE and stuff, have you actually been back to that route? No, 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 I, I, I feel that there's some road design problem and I don't think, why the government have to do so much construction work on the road? I actually I try to avoid the, the AY. I think it's very dangerous. Um, I, I I think MRT is safe. Sure, it's the safest. Sure. Well, mm. Thanks for sharing this with me. I mean, so you mentioned to me that you know a lot has been going on for you. I'm not sure. You know, what's your response like when you learn of you know you, you see uh, on the news you know similar incidents happening? How do you feel? Oh, I avoid reading newspaper. I don't like to see those things. You know, uh, it's very disturbing to see. Uh, you no know, road traffic accident photos. Um, um, no, it's extremely disturbing. So, uh, I don't want to see that. I don't read newspaper now. Apart from feeling that it's very disturbing to see those photographs, mm -hmm. do you find that you're, you, you feel very numb emotionally within you? Um, well, yeah, I don't have much feeling um, towards other things. I, internally, I feel very nervous, but I don't have much feeling towards other things. So just, just to clarify, because your GP actually referred you to see me, am I the first psychiatrist that you... you yeah, see? you're the first one, yeah. Right. And I know this has been a very distressing time for you, and you mentioned that your mood is affected, you know, your sleep is affected as well. I'm not sure whether you're able to get along with, you know, things you used to enjoy doing. Uh, no, I mean, uh, nowadays, I uh, should say, so I'm very nervous and I also don't know what I'm doing, and my concentration is not good. So, uh, you know, in the past, I used to go to like uh, swim or go to the gym. Now actually, uh, because you know, I also try to avoid traveling as, as right. much as I can. So uh, I, I actually don't go to do those things. Right, Mr. Oh, can I just check with you as well? No, I know this is a very distressing time for you. Have there been any unusual experiences that you experienced? For example, when you're alone by yourself, do you hear voices which are not there? No, no, I don't see hear. things which are not no, there. No, 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 I mean, don't, don't, I don't see things or hear voices that are there. I'm sorry to learn about you know, everything that has happened, but are you so troubled by all this that you ever did thoughts of doing anything to harm yourself? No, no, no I don't have thought of harming myself. Okay. You know, some of my patients, when they are undergoing very stressful experiences, they do use substances like alcohol to help them cope. Oh, I, you know, I'm a very safe person. I, ne I do not like alcohol. I, never, I was never drunk and dry, so I did not touch alcohol at all, no. Mr. Ho, thanks for sharing with me your concerns today. Is there anything else that you want to ask me? Um, actually, the other thing is uh, my lawyer. Um, you know, um, he also would like uh, you know to for you to help me to write a medical report, uh, so that uh, uh, you know I can claim okay. because I think that I want to get compensation for this uh, all this uh, psychological uh, you know trauma I have. So you're yeah. claiming against the other party, right? Yeah, yeah. I feel that. You know, it's not my fault. I stopped on time, but the car behind could not stop on time. So I actually want them to compensate because I, I do suffer. You know, uh, um, you know, uh, I, I can't function nowadays. So uh, I need your help to write a report. Sure, Mr. Ho, I understand your concerns, uh, but let us first look at how we are going to help you because your mood has not been so good. You know, I'd like to update my consultant with regards to the mm -hmm. case, and perhaps we can have arrange another session to okay. discuss how best we could help you with your condition, and perhaps a little bit more about the medical report itself. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Ho, for okay. coming today. Okay. Thank you. Okay. okay.